So I have here a Telstra 4GX prepaid Wi-Fi modem. Uh, it comes with 2 gig of prepaid data and it's meant to support up to 10 devices on Telstra's uh, fastest 4G network. So in the box we have our Wi-Fi security card which gives us our uh, wireless network name and key or password for it. Uh, also a quick reference as to what the different lights mean. We have our, I guess our installation guide, safety instructions, uh, quick setup, uh, SIM insertion and connection and so on. Too. So that's good. Uh, then we've got warranty information and then in the box here we have our modem on the back again we've got just in case the default SSID and key and also the model details Uh, and it looks like the box says that the SIM card is already inserted, so that's handy. Underneath there, we have power adapter and USB charger for it. So that's everything that's in the box. Now we want to make sure we've got the SIM card inserted. So to do that, we've got this on the bottom, this little uh, cover here that says SIM slash reset. If we lift that up. We can see there is a SIM card in there. Uh, we can get it out by pressing it and it will release and pop out. And there we go, there's our SIM card. So we know we've got that. We can put that back in. And then this little cover just lines up and clicks back. On the top we have a um, the USB charging port and also two extra antenna ports if you buy an external antenna. On the bottom here we have a WPS button for quick Wi-Fi connections and also our power button. So to turn it on we want to press and hold that power button and the lights will come on. So there we go. We have a red battery indicator, which indicates the battery is low, which is not surprising. Uh, then we've got the green Wi-Fi signal, so that's there. I is telling us there's a problem, and then the um, actual Wi-Fi signal, sorry, not the Wi-Fi, the cell signal is flashing blue, to tell us we're within range of Telstra's 4G network towers. So now we just need to go and connect to the modem using the uh, Wi-Fi SSID that was on the, the back of the modem here and the password or the key and then we navigate to m.home in the web browser to go ahead and start activating the SIM card for use.